الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد my brothers and sisters when Ramadan came to inculcate taqwa in us we tried our best we are trying to focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are fasting we are praying we are asking Allah for his mercy and we feel close to Allah so when you feel close to Allah, when the slave feels close to Allah, Jalla Jalaluhu, he wants to know more about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The more we learn about Allah, the more we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my brothers and sisters now, when in this condition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see the mercy of Allah, in the ayat of, in the ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah relating to fasting, in the middle of those ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِ عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَدِيبٌ أُجِيبُوا دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِي إِذَا دَعَانِ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said which means when my slave asks about me I am close to him. Allah is saying Jalla Jalaluhu to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that when my slave asks about me he has not done anything he has not made effort to get close he is only asking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but the mercy of Allah is such that Allah says that when my slave asks about me, I am close to him. Ujibu da'at da'ida da'an. Let him ask me and I will listen to him and I will give him. Fal yastajibu li wal yuminu bi. La'allahum yashudun. Two conditions. Let him obey me and let him have faith in me, iman in me. Right? So that he may be rightly guided. My brothers and sisters, Ramadan is the month for making dua. Learn to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Learn to make dua. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, even if you have a strap of your boot which is broken, ask Allah. Do not ask Ghairullah. Don't ask anyone other than Allah. There is nothing too small or too big to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So make this into a habit. When you go to the masjid, on the way, make dua. And say, Ya Rab, I am going to worship you. There is no other reason. I am going to the masjid to worship you. Make this salah of mine the best salah of my life. Save me from shaitan. Save me from the wasabis of shaitan. Save me from distractions. Enable me to worship you in a way that you are pleased with. Make this dua. When you are going to your, for your work, say, Oh Allah, I am going to earn a halal risk. And obviously, if you are, if you have, what you are earning is not halal, you can't make this dua. So make it halal. You say, oh Allah, I am going to earn halal risk. Make it easy for me. Put barakah in this for me. Give me what I work for and give me more from yourself as a gift from you. Give me risk un kareem. Give me risk which is with honor and which is easy and which is dignified. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this. When you are at home, when you are returning home, say, Oh Allah, I am returning home. All praise be to you, Alhamdulillah, that you have given me a home to which I can return. See what's happening to the people in Yemen today. See what happened to the people in Afghanistan. See what's happening to the people in Ukraine. They have no homes to return to. Alhamdulillah, Allah gave us a home to return to. So make dua and say, Oh Allah, you gave me a home to return. Alhamdulillah, 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 I have a home to return to. Ya Allah, make this home the best home. Make this home full of people who are obedient to you, who follow you, who obey you, who, who follow your Habib Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and make me among them. When you are eating your food, make dua and say, Oh Allah, make this food a means of guidance for me, a means of sustenance for me so that I can worship you st more strongly and better. This is what Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do. There are the duas of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for every single thing in life. Try to memorize them. Even if you can't memorize them, do them or do you make, make up your own du'as and make these du'as. Connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the way to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to talk to Him. Jalla jalla Allah knows all languages. He is the creator of all languages. He can hear you. He can see you real time. He is seeing and hearing you anyway. Make du'a to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make Ramadan the month that you are going to go on and on and on making dua after dua after dua and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put khair and barakah in those duas and 
give them what you give you what you ask with khair and afiyah inshallah wa sallallahu ala nabiyil karim wa alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya rabbal alamin